I'll load it up. Ready to go. Okay, shipping for going across the country, I guess. There's a couple definite nicks and scratches I'm not totally thrilled with. And I don't think we're actually trucking company. Probably how they stored it. I'm anxious to see what that battery tray looks like. Hopefully it's not all jammed up. That definitely looks like storage considering it's sitting the way it's sitting now. But a hell of a lot better than what I got. Frame rail seems straight. Kind of looks crooked right now because it's not sitting straight on the pallet. But time to head up the road. <laughs> Greetings, everyone. So the frame is in. Picked it up yesterday. Came in pretty good shape, considering it was traveling across country. Little ding on the bumper I'm not happy with, but heh, that's what it is. Better than that bumper and frame, <laughs> by far. I brought it in today. Look how it tweaks up. <laughs> <laughs> that thing is so twisted it's it's funny and sad all in the same time even the uh driver's side front end is up higher than the rest i don't know if you can tell that that thing just so mangled it's i'm really happy i bought a new one but i will be taking a lot of these parts off and reusing them Try to keep it as much as original as possible. With the exception of the Buick 198. And running gear I already have for it with the Warren Overdrive. Be able to do a little bit more than 40 miles an hour. I would like to get an Offenheiser, Offenheiser I think is how you say it, intake manifold. Get rid of that old two barrel carb. Uh, style cast iron one maybe get one or two horsepower out of it having a hard time finding a 198 whole bunch of 225 buick intakes not so much on this one but that is what it is got the body sitting on stands get work on that pretty shortly Pretty sure that'll come after I strip that frame. That way I have my lift available if I need it for one of the other Jeeps. <clears throat> but, getting more and more parts together. So now it will be the startup time. I don't know if I'm going to reuse the shackles or springs. They don't look bad, but I'll know more when I take it all apart. I'll definitely change out tie rods, brake linings. I'm tempted to go with disc brakes in the front because they're on my M38A1 and nothing stops with 33s. That'd be nice. But we'll see. The rear end is noted in the other one. The other video from last week has a big hole in it. I don't know if this is going to come out. Yeah, it does. Now, I had done something similar to this in, in my, uh, one of my Dana 35s from my Wrangler. And I welded up the bottom where I tossed a, a pin through. And I ran it for another two years like that, surprisingly enough. And it worked. It held fluid. I was tempted to try to find another one. And I'll continue to look. But I do plan on welding this one up. I'll probably do a little bit different than I did with the Dana 35. I'll probably uh, make it kind of look like cast iron when I'm done. Try to make it look cool from underneath. Look at that big buckle in the frame. Um, 
But I think that might be kind of cool. Be able to keep it all. If you notice, let's see if this focuses. All the little Fs on the bolts. Genuine Ford rear axle. And it's not bent. I took a straight edge to it. So I think I just tossed the... Well, I didn't, but I think they just... The bolt came loose on the pinion. And they didn't notice it. And then it got pushed through. So, I think it's fixable. Well, at least for me, anyway. There'll be those out there who say it's not. But right there is a power lock, ring and pinion, and everything for that rear axle. So I don't necessarily want to ditch it, even though I think all that will work on the front axle anyway. Well, if you got any questions or comments, toss them down in the comment section. And we'll start uh, actually getting some grinding and some welding and some unbolting. I think I'm going to spray everything down with a little bit of PB blaster for right now. Make it easier to take apart. I'll go check my schedule, make sure I'm not working tonight. I think I am. So, we'll see. Thanks again for watching. And that's how we're leaving things today. I do have the rear end completely loose. And I definitely think it's salvageable. We'll see how that works out. Front end looks nice, free spin. Like the hubs, they're kind of cool. I guess we'll start putting stuff on this one. Maybe tomorrow, maybe next weekend. Yeehaw, enjoying it. All my little bags of marked goodies. On a side note, these guys were awesome. I was in and out within 20 minutes. Loaded it up with no questions. Picture of my driver's license. And Graham even got a cookie treat. Like, doggy treat because he's a good boy and they loved him but yeah i picked up at fedex when i picked up my uh transmission for the cherokee and i was there almost two and a half hours fedex freight um this was simple easy and done huh graham you ready let's go